Hello, operators. Welcome back. I am Leonidas. This is Nucleares. We're on patch 182. No, I did not do patch notes for 182. Maybe I will. They're short. Uh, just some bug fixes. But this video comes at the request of a uh, viewer. And they wanted me to do what we're going to do today. Um, so let's jump into it and then I will explain it. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, so what I'm doing today is I am just doing a regular startup. And I'm going to install two cores. First time I've ever used multi-cores. So uh, we should have an extra core on hand with control rods. So I'm just going to install those and do a startup and see how it goes. So you guys get to watch me fumble through this and see how it uh, all comes out. So first thing we got to do is install our second uh, core and fuel rods. Actually, let's do the fuel rods first, shall we? That sounds like a oh, let's see, Do I have to drain? Nope, we still have the bug where we have no water, so this actually works out well. Otherwise, oh yeah, duh. Otherwise, it wouldn't let me. Uh, oh no, I guess it'll let you isolate, huh? Okay, so let's do. Um, I need to install a bunch of control rods. We're gonna go in. Or four. Let's do four. Let's install all these. Uh, and I have eight eight containers. K, okay. and it's in progress. So we should see the crane. Oh man, that's gonna take a while. If you go triple time, does it speed it up? Nope, it sure doesn't. Yikes. Okay, so that's gonna take a while. I'll tell you what, I will cut away so you guys don't have to sit through this. I will come back when the crane has installed all eight cores. GBD Christmas. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, so we are ready to go. My pool is filled. I did a number of things while you were gone. I made a bunch of purchases. Um, had to fill that tank also after inserting the rods and the fuel and all of that because that wasn't ready to go. I had to do my M2 valve. I know you guys are all experts, so I didn't even uh, bother showing that because I'm sure you all know how. I drained my core vessel a little bit. Uh, about 75 ish in anticipation of needing to uh, do some boron dosing uh, which I plan on doing and I uh, did that via the RCV valve and I purchased a another resistor bank and resistors I purchased a gen set more fuel some batteries things like that so um, yeah, because this is the first time I've been playing also since the new updates, uh, demands, and uh, all that crazy stuff. Catastrophes. Let me see if I have any of that enabled. Let's take a look. Um, nope, they're all off right now, which is fine, but uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing with those. So let's get going without further ado. Um, using the checklist, as always, uh, you can find it. Actually, they're on Google Docs now. I need to start sharing that link. Um, I'll get the Google Docs link out there. But um, activate all terminals, check, RCV already drained, boron dosing pump. Okay, we'll set that to 50. Um, zero, thank you. Uh, external power is on. Yep, generators are manual and stopped already. Pressurizer thermostat on. Pressurizer on. Condenser vacuum pump on. There we go. Uh, resistor bank on, on there, uh, verify 90, good, um, let's see, bypass set to zero, it is, and MSCV set to zero, for my type of startup, I start with that at zero, and now we're just waiting on the pressurizer, so we'll go triple speed, and I will cut back when it's ready to go. Welcome back. I feel like that took a lot longer than it normally does. It's really bizarre, but anyway, uh, we'll keep going with it. We are going to go nominal now. New operating mode is Load. Nominal mode. Why is that flashing? Uh, oh, okay. I'm not sure why it does that. 
I didn't think it always flashed. Anyway, here we go. Uh, we're going to load our fuel now. Yep, they both loaded. Whoa. Danger alarm. Well, that was unexpected. All right, here we go. Explosions galore. Now we're getting a meltdown. Uh, so even though the, the uh, bars say they're at 100, they're apparently not. So this video just turned out very differently than we anticipated. All right, all right. So now we... All right, here we go. Let's go screw you. Okay. So, well, now you can just see me reverse a meltdown unexpectedly. So how about that? Huh? Okay. Um, let's go fast. Let's turn this on. And go fast. Lots of rumbles. Okay, so... Uh, we're gonna open this up all the way. We're gonna open up the bypass all the way. I know, I didn't mean for you to, sorry. Open bypass, so just oh, resistor banks on. Yeah, they're already on. Um, is it coming down at all? Pressurizer still holding, that's still holding. Uh, boron, you just keep going, my friend. You keep going. Critical temp, very high temp, is it coming down at all? No, nope, it's still spinning up. Interesting. Okay, well, this did not go as expected, so they should, why aren't they, uh, fuel temps super spiked, why are they super spiked, did I miss a step somewhere, am I missing something, Ayo, buddy? brother in nuclear reactors that is still spinning up for some reason no idea why that should be okay so now it's coming down okay temperatures now coming back to normal ish holy smokes all right I guess we can turn those off thank you uh, yeah, that can be turned off. So, that was fun. What does that mean? Hmm, interesting. Is it boron to the rescue? Is that is that the only thing that helped us here? Was boron? Sheesh. High temp, yeah. Okay, so it's coming down very rapidly. That's good. How bizarre. Huh. Okay, well, let's get AO to do a uh, thing. I'm going to start with the analysis yes, the please do. Okay, well, I have absolutely no idea what happened. So I chalked this up to 182 bugs. Um, unless, uh, maybe I'll replay this and watch to see if I did something bad. Maybe it was the fact that I loaded two at once. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we're going to call this part one, uh, this little disaster. Check out my next video <laughs> where I'm going to redo this entire setup and try this again without killing everything. So, I guess I'm Leonidas. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you again for part two here uh, shortly. And I'll give you any uh, ideas on what happened.